Assalamu alaikum. We are here at the 2013 Miss Tournament in Washington, D.C. And I'm standing here with Sadr Khudam al Ahmadiyya, Bilal Rana Saab. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah. So, this, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit um, about your feelings? How do you feel about this year's Miss Tournament? Uh, what are your observations and um, overall thoughts about this year's tournament? Assalamu alaikum, Jazakumullah. Uh, it's an incredible feeling. Uh, I think the, uh, the brotherhood is uh, the first feeling that hits and uh, it really, really hits hard. So this is our, I believe, ninth miss now. Uh, we do miss to, uh, to build character in our youth, uh, to give them discipline, and to give them a taste of what brotherhood in Jamaat within the auxiliary of Khudam al feels like. And uh, we hope that the teams get closer, and they do. Uh, you know, they go back. Uh, Mist is not an event that we have to actively promote. It promotes itself. So these go guys, young boys, go back to their jamaat, and they're basically walking commercials for Mist. And every year uh, we uh, find, mashallah, hundreds of Qudam come out. This year we had, I, I believe, 21 registered teams. Uh, mashallah, that's great. So uh, also representation from Canada. So. So, as your first year as Sadr Khulam and MDA, what, how does it, how do you, how do you feel as a and in a leadership role in this type of a sports event? Um, can you tell us a little bit about the organization? How do you plan it? How do you organize it? And just the overall logistics of how the in the behind, behind the scenes in the background. Well. <clears throat> I'd, I'd say that um, it's a learning process for me as much as it is for anybody else. Uh, not only am I a new Southern, but the Muhammad Mem Sayyid Jismani is also new. Uh, but uh, I was very strategic in my choice. We're actually at his high school now, and that's Osman Jamil, and uh, he's someone uh, whose heart has uh, missed in its you know, very special place. So um, I think I have uh, the best team, I think, assembled for Mist, and uh, Alhamdulillah. So overall, what type of um, reception have you gotten from the players, from the Qudam in the, in the United States, also from the Qudam in Canada, from your overall discussions with them and over talks with them during the day? How, how are their overall feelings? How are they feeling about this uh, tournament? I think I'd start by saying that the anticipation was really high. And uh, uh, I uh, come from a city that also has a team. They've been preparing for months. Uh, in fact, I'd say for most of the year. So that's when this conversation first starts. Uh, I'll be honest, so far, it's still very early. So although I've asked some people, I don't think the responses are really mature yet. So I think people are waiting. We've just had lunch. Mm -hmm. We just did Zohar Asr. Uh, but uh, I think people are excited by the venue. And uh, we've had some incredible games so far. The emotions get really high, so people come out to see that. So what type of message are you trying to get across with the mist? What type of message are you trying to tell the viewers all over the world who are going to be watching this? Any, um, any types of advice or any type of uh, words of wisdom that you were trying to tell everybody? Well, I would just say that uh, it's really important for us to provide a space for our youth to do these types of activities. Uh, and if we don't provide this uh, uh, space for them to go out there, to be athletic, uh, to sweat, uh, to get their emotions out, then somebody else will provide that space. So let's take advantage of our own youth and uh, uh, impart values uh, and be good role models so they can learn from us rather than learn from someone else. And what do you? F how do you feel that the smaller sports, meaning that the neglation of uh, soccer this year, how did you think it affected the overall tournament this year? You know that was a difficult decision. Um, it was a request by our brothers in Canada uh, to own the international sports part of uh, what traditionally was part of MIST and so uh, but I think it's been good because it, it's brought some cohesion um, you know uh, it, it, we'll have to look at it when we're done but I think so far I think it's been a good idea we've been managed you know to use that money in other areas and so uh, you know when your brother asks for a favor uh, we try and honor it and they requested it and, and we'll see inshallah what we do next year but uh, so far so good so finally how do you feel the, um, the chances are for U.S. team against Canada this year? I think the chances are always good. Uh, I don't know if there's a favorite. I've been asking uh, around who's favorite to win this year. Um, and, uh, you know, we go back and forth quite a bit. So uh, I'm going to have to say I don't know, honestly. Uh, certainly uh, as a uh, an American Southern, I uh, uh, have my 
bias, but my real bias is with uh, the Brotherhood, which spans across countries. And so I'm happy whether the United States wins or whether Canada wins. And finally, any last message you would like to give to the Khadam all over the country who, are, who might not be able to be here and who are listening to your voice right now? Uh, I'd just like to uh, uh, bid them my uh, greetings and I uh, hope to see you next year, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, it's an incredible, incredible event. Um, uh, it's different from, from Ijtama and uh, I think you get to bond here a lot more, And uh, but you'll have to come out and see it for yourself. Jazakallah,